Over 18? Yes. Single? Yeah. Guys or girls? Guys. Horny? Not for you. Over 18? Yeah. Single? Unfortunately. Guys or girls? I just want to hug someone. Hi, what are you doing? I'm thinking. You? You've come to me for something? Or you just want to laugh at me? I was supposed to get you a girlfriend. And did you get one for me? No. So why are you even starting this topic? I tried. I sent your photo to a couple of my friends. And? And they said I must be kidding. I told you that this picture of mine was so unflattering. That's possible. And what now? I found a forum on the internet for desperate I mean singles. And they sent me to a speed dating event that will be taking place soon. Don't even tell me about speed dating. There only goes either fatties or those with five children. I don't think someone like you should be that picky. I guess you're right. What day is today? Fifth. That doesn't tell me much. Tuesday. Oh, so it will be tomorrow. If tomorrow, I'm not going. Why? I have nothing to wear. You had 29 years to stockpile some clothes and you don't have any good ones? Actually, I don't think I should dress in any special way. Over 18? Can't you see? Single? You can say that. Nice, guys or girls? Men. Hey, you over 18? Yes. Single? Always. Guys or girls? Girls. Are you sure? What is that question? Typical question. You didn't ask anyone about that. I didn't have to. Oh. Hi. Hi. Tell me something about yourself. It seems to me that you probably sat at the wrong table. Why? I'm looking for a boyfriend free girlfriend. Me too. And how is it going? Poorly. Me too. You know what? They said at the beginning that women join men at the table. I am bi. I don't think that this changed anything. See, I'm a little desperate. Like everyone here. So? If you are looking for a guy, you should sit in the section over there, at the end of the room. Well, I know it's for a straight here, but there are only two other guys over there so. You should hurry, because they are getting up and going to the exit. Ups they are already gone. So what? What do you do? You know, instead of talking to you here, I'd rather spend this time looking for a wife. You should have respect for others. And you should have more respect for my time. Maybe you should spend more time looking at the mirror instead. It wasn't nice, what about your hairstyle? What about yours? I don't have any. Asshole. Is that an earthquake? Oh hey! Sorry I'm clumsy, do we know each other? No, but nice to meet you clumsy. Actually, I'm Cindy. Nice to meet you Candy. I saw you from the back of the room, stressed out? A bit. Me too, though I don't know why. They said the stress would go away after multiple times. Multiple? You know, after having so many speed dates. You come here often? This is the fourth time. And you still haven't found anyone? Let's say I'm still looking. Is it really that hard? Not every guy can tame me. Do they have a problem embracing you or what? Are you suggesting something? No. It's not funny. You're right, I'm sorry. Somehow I can't hear the sincerity in your voice. It's hard to get emotions using a speech synthesizer. You're probably right. So this is your first time here? Yeah. Somehow you don't look like that. Why? Guys who come here for the first time most often feel embarrassed and are unable to look at their partner. Maybe they don't want to look. That's possible. Or they do not have such a peripheral field of view. It seems to me that we will see ourselves here a few more times. I just came here only this time. Everyone says that. Do you have a job? You know what, I have some financial problems right now, and I don't think I can afford you. I am pretty cheap to maintain. I doubt that. Good luck with your hand. I do not complain. Do I have something written on my forehead? I can't see through the fringe. So you are one of those guys. Can you elaborate? 
awkward, disliked, arrogant, thinking they can hide their fear behind one-liners. I don't think I'm awkward. Then say something. Why me? Because you are a man, aren't you? You can't smoke here. They will make an exception for me. So, are you working somewhere? You are assuming a lot about me. Why is that? How old are you, anyway? 45? 48? 29. Really? Very funny, and seriously? I already told you that I'm 29. Okay, where are you working? I admit I was always afraid of that question. And is that such a terrible question to ask? It depends on whom. And for you? I am currently looking for a job. Any progress? Very slow. So when will you hurry up? So far, we are only talking about me. Why should I talk about myself? I know everything about me. However, I would prefer this conversation to be two-way. Why? How are we supposed to get to know each other? It would be good if I knew something about you. Now you assuming that someone wants to get to know you rather than waiting for a table to change. And you can't at least tell me something about yourself. Okay, 33, divorced, 14-year-old son. I work in my ex-husband's company, accounting. How did that happen? It's not your problem. And you are not afraid that from now on you will. Do you really want to do this? What? You know. No. I don't think you can judge me. You don't know shit about me and my life. You don't even know what I'm trying to say. I know people like you. They just point their fingers at others and look for minor mistakes. Minor mistake lol. And you yourself are like amoebas, slow without ambition no balls to achieve anything. It's easy to criticize others. The fact that I am a bit slow today is because I drank malaise before leaving. Maybe you should go back to your mom's basement and have some sleep then. Something's wrong? No, I'm having a lot of fun. What are you looking at? Are you wanted? Let me guess? By your heart? I don't understand. Your weak pickup line. I meant your attire. This? Ah this. I would prefer to stay lay low. Are they real? And what are they supposed to be? I don't know. You tell me. Okay, I have bra pads. Satisfy now? I mean the eyes. Ah, yeah there are contacts. Yellow? Yes, I am playing the character. Character? My character is very important and I don't need publicity when I go out. And what are you doing? Influencer. And what do you have influence on? What? You say you're an influencer so you have to influence something. If that's the case, I have an influence on everything. Everything? Well, the economy. Without me, buildings are not built, doctors do not operate, there are no bread deliveries in the shops. I'm not joking, if, for example, a truck driver, goes home after his job, he would not be able to continue his work without having his rocks off. So you are a prostitute? I'm not a prostitute, I'm a sex worker. What's the difference? What's the difference? Come on, you had to be joking, we sex workers are the foundations of this nation. We are relief for those who need it. That is a very strange way to describe your job. Better than working 9 to 5. And that is why you have to hide from the simps. No, it's just hard to find a good guy in a normal way. Speed dating is normal for you? It is better than on Instagram or Tinder. Oh look, this e-girl got matched with me. It's tiresome. But I don't understand one thing. If you're hiding with all that hood, why do you need these contacts for? Because if someone spots me, I have to look somehow. After all, I will not parade like these Hollywood stars in buggy pants and a sweatshirt. I suppose so. Okay, I'll be real honest with you. This would never work between you and me. You don't say? I'm out of your league, so if you want you can take this. A coupon, cool. It's not a coupon, dummy. It's a business card. Why do you need one? You have all my socials there. I have never received a business card from an e-girl before. You see, I'm your first. Oh. 
I see you have every social media. If you want any private pics I can send you personally. How many simps do you have there? If you don't report me to the IRS, I'll tell you. Okay, I promise. I do not know how many are there, but generally I earn over 50k per month. Has something happened to you? Are you having a seizure? Sorry, I don't feel so good. Okay, if you manage to get some fresh air, please become my good dog. You will get something extra. Just remember, you have to always send me a dip. What are you doing? Googling something. Like what? Have you seen anything like that? More than once. Look. What is it? E-girl business card. LOL. That's some kind of joke? No, she gave me that. Okay, can you Google her socials? I'm trying but it always sending me to other e-uploads. Click baits? No, there are all legit, but not from her. What are you looking for? I want to see how many simps she has. It is strange that the search engine gives re-uploads to higher positions. That's because people click on them more often than her socials. I guess, here. She has a lot of content. Hard worker, I think I know her from somewhere. You just saw her tits. You can't get to know her any better. Can you get a close up here? Where? Here. Okay, let's CSI this shit. What is this? A tattoo? It's not a tattoo, it's a bush. What's that? Click here. You don't have to touch my monitor. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs>